My favorite, uh, my favorite horror comic book was a Marvel comic called Dead of Night. Oh. And they had like a lot of. I mean, horror, some, horror comic. Yeah. Uh, Dead of Night. Yeah. And, and, and when and where was this? 1970s. Okay. And how long does this comic go on for? Oh. Uh, uh, Dead of Night. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, the 70s, Marvel Comics went to a lot. They went to the astral plane a lot. Like, you know what's crazy? But if you ever read, like, a Doctor Strange in the 70s, like, people come over to the Sanctum Sanctorum where they're all hanging out, and, like, all of a sudden, they're basically all tripping balls in the astral plane. And then someone has snacks at the end. They're eating, like, uh, Hostess cream pies at the end of the, at the story. It usually always goes that way. And, and, like, Doctor Strange is like, wow, that was a crazy adventure. And, like, they basically trip balls and freak out. And I, I someone bursts through the wall. And, Anybody yeah. remember Eerie Magazine? Dream people show yes. up. Yeah, Eerie Magazine. Eerie was good. They had really good horror stories and really good artwork. I put up a lot of oh, yeah. stuff on the base. Yeah, Vamp, so... Vamp, 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 Vampirella. So here you go. Uh, Dead yes. of Night. Yes. Dead of Night was one of Marvel's revived horror classics. I see. With new stories and reprints from the 1950s. Uh, the old one from Scary, right? Gotcha. So, anyways, uh, this uh, series is also known for the first appearance of Straw Man in issue 11 of the series. Candyman. That's the Everything that went Devil. bump in the night for me. <laughs> <laughs> 